Okay, number 30. Jack and Jill surveyed students in their school to estimate how many students listened to classical music. Jack's sample was the first 50 students that arrived at school in the morning. Jill's sample was chosen by selecting students randomly from a list of all students in the school. The question, are Jack and Jill's samples representative? Okay, well, let's first look at Jack's. In order for a sample to be representative, we have to look at the population and the sample and to see if our sample reflects our population. Okay, so let's go ahead and write this down. Jack's population is the students in the school. However, Jack's sample is not representative of this population because it is a biased sample. It is biased because not all students are equally likely to have been chosen to be surveyed if we really want to be impressive. Okay, now we have to deal with Jill's. Jill's samples were chosen by random selection from a list of all the students in the school. Compared to Jack's, hers is a lot better. So, is her sample representative? Jill's population consisted of all students in the school and her sample was simple and random. Each student was equally likely to be chosen for the survey. Therefore, Jill's sample was better than Jack's. I'd give that full credit.